Today is a sad day. It's our last walk with Cupcake. Last walk for us. First walk for her mommy. You're getting a mommy. <laughs> Cupcake will be enjoying the beautiful summer on the Hudson Bay in New York. Her new mommy is so excited and we're excited that she found a home. She has what's known as black dog syndrome. We listed her brother. He was immediately adopted. Many people asking about him. Cupcake, we had for weeks and weeks no interest. I know she's going to a great home. Lady that adopted her chose her specifically because she was black and she's aware of the problem that they don't get adopted because people don't like that they don't take good pictures. And because they don't take good pictures, the dogs are left in the shelters to die, to be EU'd. But as I said, Gwen, AKA Cupcake's new mom, for her to be nice enough to choose her because of that reason, I know she's going to a great home. And then I also found out that her mom's a school teacher. And if she's able to put up with a bunch of other people's little wild beasts, I know she'll take good care of Cupcake. So I know I couldn't spend more than probably 10 minutes in a room filled with kids. I would lose it. Cupcake's brother though, Scooby, he went to an amazing home. His name now is Remington. He went to a great home. The guy, I didn't ask him, but I, um, I seen the Marine Corps tattoo on his arm. I'm complaining about my little back pain. He tells me he took two bullets through his spine. So, but I know if he's willing to take a bullet to keep Americans safe, Remington is in good hands. No harm will ever come to him. And he was super excited too. Immediately took him out shopping. We got a picture a couple hours later, him in a shopping cart, rolling through the store, getting all kinds of treats and dog bed and Remington, AKA Scooby, got an amazing home as well. It's good, it makes us feel good why we're doing this. Taking dogs that would have been killed by the shelter and finding them the perfect fit. We got Cupcake and her brother Scooby from a lady down the road. They were left there by their mother, which was probably a stray. She said the, the mother looked like she was rough, underweight, and scruffy. She asked around and they were nobody's dogs. And the mother never came back. None of them had any collars on them. And she didn't want to take them to the shelter because they would be put down and called every rescue around. And everybody was full, just like us. It's hard, there, there's just so many stray dogs, it's, it's so hard. So we're gonna start selling freeze-dried product to try and raise money to be able to uh, cover the bills, all the medical bills with all these dogs. And that's unfortunate, all the other rescues out there. It's not only are they full, they just don't have any funding. They have no money. They can't take the dogs. It's sad. So if you're gonna donate money, donate it to a small rescue. They could really use it and they will really appreciate it. Food, just give them some food just so they can uh, keep them fed until they can find a new home. Well, we got Sheila there. She is a large dog with lots of energy. And we got Gwen running away. Gwen, this way. Come on, little cutie. But here's Sheila. She has many names. Sheila, Shishi. Shishi Ping. Shishi Ping. But yeah, she's a large, extremely energetic dog. When she gets outside, she'll, she'll lay around the house and behaves really good. But she only lays in the house so long before she gets where she needs a zoomie. And she's so fast and such a big dog. We have a moderately large yard and she is running out of it and in the neighbors in seconds. So luckily the neighbors are all cool and they don't mind, but if you don't have a big yard, you need to be able to take her for walks because she, she needs them. She needs to run. Uh, or if you have cattle, she's a cur. 
and she doesn't really show prey drive so and she sits around and kind of guards me um, she would do really good probably easily be trained to guard the animals and really good with uh, people too like I said um, she uh, she even waits knows like don't go out the door and uh, she'll just sit and wait for me to get her collar on her she's really good a lot of times I don't even put the collar on I'm trying to just get her outside to go pee quick and nope she knows her routine she'll sit there and wait unless I really call her and then she'll come running out we've had her for many months now and she's never ran away at first we thought she was running away because she'd be out of the yard, but it's not. It's just she's so fast that in seconds, she's out of the yard and in the neighbors. But she's friendly, runs up to the neighbors, says hi. She, she is a, what, about a two-year-old female cur. Uh, she was a stray, unfortunately, I guess on the streets. She must have had it tough because in the beginning, it took a little bit for her to trust other dogs. I think maybe she was attacked by a dog on the streets or something. But now she's good. She knows she's safe. She'll play with her other foster sisters. But other dogs on walks, she don't want anything to do with them. She kind of just ignores them. She's just, you stay away from me, I stay away from you. Which is good. She don't go pulling to them. And, start any problems but she's not going to be a dog park dog well i can't say she won't we just never tried it no no she don't bark so you're not going to have a yippy dog but she is not an apartment dog that's for sure we're like cookie here bulldogs even though she loves to get out She's more of a couch potato apartment dog. Oh, and we got Rosie. Yeah, Rosie's a bit of a couch potato. The story about Rosie is she is a six-year-old lab and she is sweet and follows you everywhere. She does not need a leash at all. She is great, always by my side. Very friendly to other dogs and people. She'll go for walks, but she's also content with just sitting on the sofa or on the porch yeah she kind of likes being inside maybe the bugs bite her so she don't like the porch too much but it could be all these mosquitoes and flies right before christmas we were on our way home from new jersey and from new jersey all the way to texas i kept saying over and over again i'm done with rescuing dogs i can't do it we, we have no money, we have no help. We had to drive from Texas to New Jersey with six dogs because we had no one to watch them and no money to pay for anyone to watch them. So when we got there, not only did we have the tragedy of my mom's funeral, but then I had six dogs that I had to contend with. So then the whole way back, 30 hour drive, I just kept saying over and over again, we, we're done, I can't, I can't take any dogs. And we get to the house and on our porch is a lab. And I said hi to her, gave her some food and water and hoped she just was a neighbor's and was stopping by to just say hello. Well, she cried and cried and cried. So in the middle of the night, I finally gave in and said, come on inside left her in and it's not like it's cold it, it was like 70 degrees it was not like she's sitting out there freezing it was beautiful out she just wanted in with us and we called around and the one neighbor said that she's been hanging out at her house but i guess uh with all the dogs we had rose decided ah, oh, i like it over here hanging out with them that's the story of rose she's been with us ever since uh, of course, the neighbor tried all over. She's no neighbor's dog, and we listed her on all the local Facebook and different things, and she was astray, she was dumped. And our guess why she was dumped is because she was leaking urine when she would uh, lay down. And she was doing that because she had an infection from ticks. Once we got her on antibiotic, 
she was all good. Stopped the urine, because she was covered in ticks and fleas when we found her. And unfortunately, she was very scared, probably was beaten. The people that had her probably beat her because they thought she was peeing in the house. When if they just would have took her to a vet, they would have known that the problem is an infection from ticks and that she couldn't help it. She didn't want to leak um, every time she laid down. But luckily, we got her on now antibiotics. It's been, I don't know, five months now, no problems. She's doing great. So yeah, Rosie's an amazing dog. I wish I could keep her, but like always, if we kept every dog, we won't be able to save more. So help me find Rosie a good home. Thanks.